Okay. Hello, good evening, Mr. Carlos. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hi, nice to meet you, sir. Um, well, we're going to wait some minutes to start this video conference um, because I see that just two people are connected right now. Um, okay, let me see who else. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm be waiting we have here. Two minutes. In two minutes, we, we're going to start in two minutes. Okay, we're going to start at uh, eight o'clock. Okay, thank you. Welcome, me, Sarah. Um, Ms. Sara, you're muted. Um, nice to meet you, teacher. Hi, nice to meet you. See you again. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, uh, Ms. Molina. Welcome. My name is Sara Sandoval. Sara. Hello, Sara. Sí. Oh, you, you were in the, in the previous um, course that was, uh, I guess, intermediate or pre-intermediate, right? Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you. It's very, very nice to meet you. Study with you <laughs> again. Okay, okay, welcome, welcome. So, um, well, we're going to start in one minute. We're going to start at eight o'clock. We're going to just, we're going to wait just some minutes. Uh, Miss Molina, okay. welcome. Uh, I can okay. speak a little bit of Spanish, please. Huh? I can speak a little Spanish, please. Okay, so, so go ahead, no worry. Mm -hmm. eh, profe, este, yo he estado trabajando en, en la plataforma y ya me quebré la cabeza con las primeras lecciones y espero que en clase las podemos resolver para poder tener bien mi plataforma. Yes, uh, of, of course, that, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, well, we're going to be working uh, on it. Uh, tonight we're going to start with the first lesson um, and then we're going to see some of the exercise uh, that are in platform but before we're going to be practicing a uh, pronunciation that is the main focus of this uh, course. Let's see, welcome to um, Ms. Caldames, um, Mr. Uh, Vasquez and Ms. Gomez, welcome.
uh, Miss Garcia, welcome again. Um, well, guys, um, I think that some of you know me, uh, but I will introduce myself uh, for, for the ones that um, haven't taken any course with me before. Uh, my name is Wilmer Granados. Um, I'm an English teacher. Um, well, I have some experience working um, here in, 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 in English Corporativo. Um, and also I have experience in um, other institutions and I've been working with some programs uh, for INSA 4 too. Um, and well, it's a pleasure for me to, to be here, as I said in the chat, in the WhatsApp, uh, in the WhatsApp group. Um, well, we're going to be um, working in this contents of, of uh, English Corporativo um, has proposed for us in the platform uh, following, um, well, a, a guideline that, that, that we have in, in, in the web page. Uh, first of all, because some of you, um, I don't know some of you, uh, where you are going to introduce yourself, uh, but you are going to tell me something about you and maybe any experience that you have. If you want to tell me a story, it's okay. Um, if you want to say, well, whatever thing that you, um, that you think that could be interesting, uh, that, would, that um, may be nice, because uh, as I said at the beginning, the main focus of this is uh, practicing our English. So uh, we're going to start with Mr. Moran. Nice to, nice to meet you, Mr. Moran. Okay, introduce yourself. Remember, uh, everybody's going to tell me a story or um, something interesting. So think, uh, think about it and tell me. Miss Moran, I mean, Mr. Moran, sorry. Uh, good night for everyone. And my name is Rafael Moran. And this is my first time having a class, having course in this, this class. Okay. Okay, nice to see you, nice to uh, meet you, Mr. Uh, Moran. Well, as I said, you're going to tell me a story or something that you think interesting or any experience that you had uh, in your life. So this is the, the purpose of this is just for practice in English because that's what we're going to be uh, working uh, during this video conference. So, uh, tell me something, uh, any story, any experience, maybe you have a, 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 a funny experience uh, when you were a child or something like that, okay? Do you remember something? Uh, can you hear me, sir? Uh, sorry, but I can hear you. You couldn't, oh, okay, you couldn't hear me. I was uh, telling you that um, in order to practice your English in, in this activity, introducing yourself, you are going to uh, tell me a story or any experience that you have uh, that could be funny or something interesting that you want to say about you. Um, well, you can say what, whatever thing that, that comes to your mind. Um, but the thing is that um, you're going to tell me something uh, about you. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm... Uh, <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Okay, well, uh, if you want, you can uh, wait a little bit more and uh, you're going to tell me a story uh, uh, tonight, but uh, you're going to do it at the end. Uh, do you agree with, with that? 
You agree with that? So think about it. it is, I'm just giving you more time in order to think about your story. Yeah, sorry, but I can hear. You can hear. Um, well, um, what about the rest? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. I heard you. Yes, <laughs> yes okay. I can hear you. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, okay, I sorry. can hear you. Okay, means, um, well, Mr. Moran, maybe um, could be some problems or in, some of internet connection. Uh, we're going to go with the next one. Um, and then I, I'm going to ask you, okay? Uh, let me see, Miss Galdames, welcome. Hello, good night. Can Hello. you hear me? <laughs> good evening, Miss. Okay. Um, <laughs> This is the, 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 the activity for tonight. Uh, you're going to introduce yourself and you're going to tell me something about you. It could be a story, uh, uh, an interesting fact, whatever thing that comes to your mind, okay? Okay. 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 My, my name is Maria Galdames. Um, I'm married. <laughs> I have four kids. They are maybe about your age. <laughs> <laughs> um, I work as, a, as, a, as an accountant for Buffalo Wings. Um, well, uh, the funny part for me, maybe, uh, it is that I have never used this app. I don't know how to use it. I have my youngest daughter here sitting right <laughs> next to me to teach me how to do okay, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. But um, you're going to be learning this in, with, with practice, okay? The, uh, I don't know if you have okay. a joint, <laughs> I mean, logging into, into the uh, web page from English Corporativo. Do you join uh, the I didn't hear that story. Did you join the platform? Uh, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, okay, very good. The, so, uh, the one is, uh, online, Inglés Corporativo. Yes, yes, I have. Okay, that's that's amazing. Okay, Ms. Galemes, welcome to this um, course to Advance One. We're going to uh, be working on these contents that have been proposed uh, for all of you. Okay, welcome. Let's see, um, the okay. next one is uh, Miss Peraza. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, nice what? to meet you. Um, uh, have you nice seen this, this is going to be the activity for tonight? Uh, you are going to introduce yourself and you are going to uh, tell me a story, an interesting fact or uh, something that you want to share with us, okay? Okay, uh, hello, uh, my name is Sarai. Uh, I have four, four children like Maria. Oh, <laughs> and uh, well, in my case, I tell uh, a story. Uh, yesterday, I, my, baby uh, has um, three years and he tell me, mommy, um, how, how was uh, your eyes? And I didn't understand why he uh, answered this question or uh, ask me the, the, this question. And the reason is uh, because uh, I, uh, how do you say, conceive this? Sorry? How do you say, conceive? Conceive. Uh, that's mean like you. Okay. Continue. I don't, I, I didn't, uh, I don't know to say from Sir. From Sir. Uh, well, mm, 
it will be like uh, maybe making like a like a funny face. I mean, that's what you mean. I can hear you. Miss, I can hear you, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, let me let me try to set set uh, this thing. So. I can hear you, teacher. Okay, what about now? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, what was your question? How do you say fruncir? Oh, fruncir. Okay, uh, you say like, uh, uh, it's like a poker? Like a? Poker. It's like a poker, poker. Poker your face. Ah, okay. Poker your face. And yeah. my baby uh, answered this question. And uh, I don't, I didn't understand uh, in this moment. And then I... Mommy, uh, do you want me Mommy. Okay. 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 We're going to wait. Sorry. And okay. the question is: uh, He uh, and, uh, asked me this question because uh, I am angry with him, and and in, in, in this moment, and I didn't understand this question. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. And the, the, the point is, uh, he, he uh, asked, asked me, uh, mommy, uh, why? Why uh, or how? How was your eyes? My eyes, because I frown my eyes in this moment, uh, because I I was angry with, with him. No sé si me entienden. Yes, yes. Okay. It's that's all. Okay. She's gone. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. The next one is Mr. Carrillo. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Uh, well. Uh, Teacher, I don't understand what is the work or task that we are going to do in this moment. Oh, this okay, okay. A presentation. Uh, just give me, give me a second. Um, mm -hmm. Can you see me, guys? Can you see my camera? Uh, no. No? Okay. No. And what about now? Not in this moment, no. Oh my God. It is black. Okay, okay. Um, give me a second. I, I'm going just to...
just give me a second because I have to set some things here. Because something is happening with my camera and suppose that it has to be torn. Turn it on. Um, I'm going to do a screenshot. Okay, um, guys, um, Mr. Carrillo. Okay, um, the activity that we're going to be, uh, that we're developing right now, um, it's um, about, um, uh, well, you're going to introduce yourself, but also uh, you are going to um, tell me a story or an interesting fact or uh, something that you want to share with us. Uh, could be an experience or whatever thing. Um, well, go ahead, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna try. Uh, try it. Okay, to, try it. Don't worry. It's an inter uh, experience because it is a, like a warm up for me because <laughs> I, I had a lot of days without uh, speaking English. Okay. Uh, when I was a little boy, I was uh, playing tips and cups with all my little friends. Do you understand tips and cups? Uh, Ladrón y policía. Yes, yes. Okay. And, and the thing is that we are a, we are we were using uh, bicycles to 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 do it uh, more interesting. And well, I was active in this in this case, and another friend was uh, <clears throat> touching me. And in in this situation, I I was I came to pass uh, and too near from a risk. That is the word for barranco, teacher. Okay. Is that the word for barranco, risk? Um, risk is like, um, um, well, you can use it. Um, but okay. but the, the word uh, could be like, um, the, the, the correct word could be like uh, um, uh, ravine. Yes, I guess, ravine. Okay. Okay. Rabin. And, and the thing is that at the at the end of this story, I was at the at the end of the rabin <laughs> uh, uh, because I lost the, the control of the bicycle and I went down. Uh, when I uh, opened my eyes, I was with uh, my bike uh, above of me. Encima, is that the word, teacher? Above or over over me. Okay, sir. Hello. Okay, I, I hear you now. Okay. Uh that's all. And, and that's all, it, it was like an accident. <laughs> okay, 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 thank you, thank you. Uh, well, um, thank you, sir. L we're going to continue with the next one. Let's see, uh, Mr. Uh, Jose Mariano. Hello? Uh, Mr., you're muted. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't notice. Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just arrived into the group. I don't know what is the topic tonight. I know, okay. Uh, we're just introducing, uh, you are introducing yourself, uh, but uh, um, you are going to add also um, uh, a story, an interesting fact, or uh, something that you want to share with us, okay? As part of introducing yourself. 
Oh, okay, uh, good night to good, good evening to everyone. My name is Jose Torres. I am a, actually I'm an engineer working on working on my own. I live in Santa Tecla. I have four years old and an interesting topic when I was a kid. Uh, I used to love rolling skating with my friends and playing soccer, playing basketball also. And I don't know. When, when I was a child, I was a, a soccer player from a well-known team, soccer team in Salvador. From I used to play for Luisa Jalfirbo and then oh. for Metapan. And, and then I started to, to, to study high school and the soccer stops. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, nice. Um... Uh, you are from you are from Santa Tecla. You said that, right? Hello, sir. Um, Hello. Yeah. Okay, uh, you are from Santa Tecla, right? Yes, actually, uh, I was born in Usulután, but Usulután. due to the okay. civil war, yeah, I'm from, yes, I'm from Usulután the civil war, maybe. I'm from Usulután too. And it's true. <laughs> Yes. Great. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue with the next one. Uh, let's see, Miss uh, Miss Mira, Maritza Mira. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, um, Miss. Well, that's my name, Maritza Mira. Um, I live in Santa Tecla. Also, um, I work at an um, auditing uh, company. Um, I like to speak English very much, and I, 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 so long in my life, I've been studying in different places, and this I took this opportunity because I want to continue. I want to continue learning. Um, I have a, a daughter. My daughter is twenty-one years old, and she's also studying English. So I want to um, be along with her studying. Um, I don't know what to, to tell about me that maybe be, will be interesting for you. Uh, I was born in San Vicente. And when I was uh, finishing my middle school, uh, because of uh, my father's work, I had to travel outside the country. And uh, since then, I haven't returned to, to live to my uh, native city. Um, I was living some time in Nicaragua. Then we moved to Ecuador. And um, we returned to the country when the civil war finished. So I didn't experience that part of our history. Uh, in some cases, I had some experience in Nicaragua when we were living in Nicaragua. It uh, was the time when the civil war uh, began there. And that's the reason why we returned to our country. And uh, it was in the 80s. And when the civil war was beginning here, uh, my father decided to move to another place. And that's why I, I went to live to Ecuador. And we returned to live here in 2000, 2000 uh, in 1991, after the Civil War ended. And um, since then, I have been working here. I worked for some time in an advertising agency. Uh, it's, it's a topic that I like a lot, but uh, after some time, I, I Became, un, became unemployed and uh, luckily I could uh, get another job uh, where I've been working for uh, 11 years now. Uh, I think oh. that's that's all. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us, Miss. Okay, um, that, that's a, a good story. Let me see who is the next one. Uh, I, I just let me ask you something. Can you see my camera now?
just a thumbs up if you can see my camera. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but sometimes uh, the audio is, uh, is, is lost. It's lost, okay, oh my God. Uh, so only the connection stops. May, yes, maybe the connection, just let me try to do something uh, in order to solve that. Okay, uh, okay here is the problem. Uh, Let me try this. Okay, we're going to try this way. Let's see. Um, Mr. Morales, Jigsasil. That, that's your name, Jigsasil? Uh, glad to meet or you, everyone. So. My name is Isaac. Uh, Isaac, ah, oh, okay. Uh, well, I call Isaac, you that way because yeah. you... you... <laughs> yeah, the problem was that um, I log in with my, my Facebook account. And so we just linked it with it. So oh, okay. that's the reason why I is displayed it uh, like my In that way, name, okay, okay. Nickname. So but my, <laughs> my real name is Isaac. Isaac. So, okay. yeah. So glad to meet you, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here. And well, uh, probably is not a fun fact, but uh, a few minutes ago, I, I was trying to, to to connect to the to the to the session because I didn't have any idea to the, to the the class is uh, is for today, right? It's still scheduled for today, so I uh, that's the reason why I I am running late, right? Okay, okay. Okay, well, uh, the next sessions you can you can join us. Um, well, we're we're going to have sessions from Monday to Thursday um, at eight o'clock. Okay, so you can okay. join the next one on time. Um, let's see who else. Uh, me Sandoval. Teacher is with me. Yes, I can hear you, Miss. <clears throat> nice to meet you, everybody. My name is Sara Santoval. I work in my house. I have a nice sal nice salon, and I was studying a craft, and I live in Metapan. I was born in Santa Ana. Okay, um, well, as everybody, you're going to um, tell us a story, a fun fact, or something interesting you want to share, you want to share with us, okay? Mm, I was working in, how do you say, in the um, weeding, gift for weeding, and balloon, other thing. Okay, I, I couldn't hear you. Mister, I don't can hear you. You can you can hear me? Oh my god. Uh, I have some problems with my internet connection, guys. Oh. Well, okay, uh, we're going to continue with this. Um, let's see who else is missing. Um, Miss Molina. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Ana Molina. I live in San Salvador with my father and my brother. Uh, I'm a single person. Um, let me see. I remember when I was a girl.
climbed in a tree uh, when suddenly uh, appear uh, a square square how do you pronounce ardia square square uh, when suddenly I is scared and I fall down uh, uh, fortunately uh, that tree is a uh, little highest is a uh, maybe one meter a uh, uh, 15 centimeters and I remember I broke my arm and my father uh, in that moment, he was hungry because uh, he told me uh, a few times, don't you try, didn't you, you climb that tree, but the, when I was a child, anyone um, pay attention with the advices of father. Uh, it's a little story about that memory in that moment. <laughs> Only that teacher. You, you're mute, we cannot hear you. Sorry guys. Uh, well, um, thank you, Ms. Molina, uh, for uh, sharing that you're story welcome. with us. Um, well, the next one is Ms. Molina, uh, uh, sorry, Ms. Ba Vanessa. Um, well, can you tell me what your last name is? Hi, good evening. My name is Vanessa Pastor. Oh, okay. I work in Tigo in the payments department. So I am glad that the class uh, finally start again. And um, I don't know if I have a funny story, but maybe something about me is like uh, I watch a uh, I like to watch movies, comedy movies, crime movies, and actions. I am a person that likes to be in home. I live with my parents. So I don't know if I, if I am a boring girl, but I prefer to stay in, in my home. So I hope that we can learn more about English with your teacher. OK, OK. Thank you. Yes, we're going to be practicing here. Um, mostly we're going to be focused on some pronunciations. Uh, let, let, let's see um, the next one. Um, Mr. Mendoza. Hello, good evening, everybody. And nice to meet you, everybody. Uh, well, my name is Jorge Luis Mendoza. I was born in Ciudad Arce. Actually, I live in Ciudad Arce too. I had a beautiful family. I had two daughters. And I, I was, uh, about my little history is when I was a child, uh, I had a little dog. His name is Terry. All the people say, be careful with Terry. And my dog, is is nothing to do with the people because it's a little dog. Uh, actually, I work in a factory. I am 45 years old, and I work in American Park. That's all for me. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Uh, thanks for sharing that with us. Let's see, um, who else is missing, Miss Miss Elaya? Gabriela Berenice? Yes. Yes. Good evening, teacher and evening. classmates. It's it's good to see you again, teacher. And remember two levels before you were my teacher. 
Okay, so, nice. nice to see you good again. To see you. Uh, uh, you haven't turned on yes. your camera. No, I can't because uh, here, uh, well, I live in Cojutepeque, so in in my in my um colonia, I don't know how to say that, mm -hmm. but the signal is very very bad, so uh, I I can't because okay, I can't okay. hear you very well. Okay. But now yes. So my name is Gabriela Celaya. I have 24 years old. I live in Cojutepeque. I work in um, San Salvador downtown. Um, so I remember a funny experience. When I was a little, um, I remember I went to meet my father at the airport. So I was so excited and that for the emotion, I threw myself on him and we both fell. So I scraped my knees and I spent two days with a great, uh, a big pain. So after that, I am left with the lesson of controlling my emotions. <laughs> That's all. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> that, that, that's a good learning. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Yes. <laughs> the next one, um, Miss Gomez. Miss Gomez? Oh, I mean, uh, is uh, Mr. No, Miss Gomez, uh, Rachel? Hello, uh, my name is Rachel. I'm 25 years old. I live and work in Santa Ana. And a fact about me is that in my free time, I like to spend my time with my friends and family. And that's all. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Um, let's see what's missing. Mm -hmm. You're um, welcome. Mr. Mendoza, do you already participate? Yes, oh, yes you, you did. Okay, okay. Because I, I, um, <laughs> I mentioned your name because I can see your camera. Uh, let's see who's missing. Mr. Vasquez. Oh, teacher, I'm missing. Okay, mister, go ahead. May I? Yes. Teacher, I can hear you. Yes, you, you, you can introduce yourself. Can you hear me now? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Good evening, guys. Uh, I'm glad to be here in this class because uh, few months ago, I, I was uh, uh, wanting to, to practice my English and, and to learn and to improve uh, my pronunciation and, and, and all the things, all the stuff you, you can uh, improve with, with a foreign language. So I'm not going to talk uh, uh, about a story of my childhood. I'm going to talk uh, about uh, Sometime when when I was uh, older, I, I remember uh, when I I mean uh, eleven years ago, um, I had the chance to travel to uh, Colorado, United States. Mm -hmm. So I sometimes I I, I was in a mall, and uh, I was in a, in, in, in a store. So when I when I uh, uh, decided to do, to go to to pay my, my products my my, my boy, uh, I was hardly trying. I, I was making a, a a good effort to to try to speak in English, and uh, uh, the 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 woman the woman that that wasn't in, in, in the. Uh, 
I don't know how to say the the, the cashier. The, the cashier, yes. Thank you. Uh, was a, a a Mexican woman, so uh, it, it was it was funny because I I was trying to to speak in English. I, I barely uh, can express myself, but uh, uh, the the surprise for me was that this woman asked me if I was from El Salvador. So. In, how did she know that I'm from El Salvador? Uh, was was that I, I thought? Because I was trying to 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 speak in English, and I didn't know my accent was so bad that she she realized that I from El Salvador. And so I, I don't know how how they do. I I guess maybe uh, a lot of people, a lot of Latina or Central American people. Uh, go to that store and, and she has a, a lot of experience uh, distinguishing the, the accents. Okay, and, yeah, could be, could be. Yeah, there, there are many people like, like uh, can identify like the accents of, of, of uh, different countries. Yeah, uh, well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that uh, with us, mister. Um, is anyone else missing here? I am missing. Oh, Miss Miss Garcia. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Good evening. My name is Adela Garcia. I work at Sai El Salvador in accounting department. Um, I have four child. Um, I am married. Um, I remember a short history, a short story. Um, so embarrassed because uh, one day um, when I was younger and I lost, I was to travel with my parents to visit my parents. And when I, I down in the bus stop, in the bus, uh, I uh, lost the, my, my money, my, wallet thing when I down the bus and I I don't have money I take to new bus then I I have to to give the money to other person and I was very very <laughs> in uh, Barris case only, okay. only that Okay, 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 thank you. Um, well, guys, um, is anyone else missing? I think not, right? Yes, okay, um, well, we're gonna start with the first topic um, that corresponds for this class. Um, and, but I want to tell you something. Um, well, do you have a platform uh, for an English corporativo where you have to develop uh, each of the lessons that, that has been proposed for you. Um, and in order to get your diploma, um, you are asked to solve at least the 80% of all the exercise um, from the platform. And that diploma is going to be available, uh, available um, three or four days till you finish the course. Um, that's the information that they gave us to us. This is the information that, that I'm sharing to you um, for need. Um, in, in the case of the uh, video conference, uh, here we are going to be discussing all the topics and, and I will be remembering you to uh, work on the platform and, and, and solve the exercise too. Um, and here we're going to be discussing uh, all, all those topics. Um, but, um, I'm going to focus more in pronunciation. That means that you are going to have a, a lot of opportunities to uh, practice your English. And that's, um, I think, one of the most difficult things that, that, that we don't have here in Salvador because we don't have the opportunity to um, be practicing our English with um, uh, some, some other person. When in the context that we're living, uh, we don't have that opportunity. Uh, so you're going to have it here. So I invite you to connect every night 
at eight o'clock to these video conferences. Um, I'm going to share the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Oh, let me see here. And please tell me if you can see, um, if you can see the slide. Yes. Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, okay, amazing. Um, well, the topic for tonight, um, and it's very followed by, by gerunds. Uh, first of all, um, what do you know about gerunds? Okay, is the present continuous? The present continuous. Okay, very good. Uh, someone else? Okay, nobody else. Well, we're going to know that uh, tonight. Um, first of all, um, you know, in, in English, there are like um, structures that we have to follow in order to create sentences. Um, in certain type of sentences, uh, we're going to find um, some verbs that are followed by gerunds. Um, but what is a gerund? Well, um, a gerund um, are words that are formed with verbs but act as a noun in, in a in a sentence. Um, this can be confused sometimes with present continuous. It's not the same, okay? It's not the same. Uh, when we use gerunds, the words that has the ing form, they are as nouns. Uh, we're going to see some examples of it. Um, but also, we have another part in which we have the infinitives. And um, sometimes we can use gerunds and infinitives um, in a sentence or so. That's mean that we can, um, that we can um, transform verbs that works as a noun. And also, uh, if we want to refer to something, um, uh, well, an action to be, uh, we can use the infinitive. Um, in the case of the gerund, okay, um, the topic that you have in the platform, it says that there are certain type of words that uh, are followed by uh, the gerund or, or the ing form. And here we have the list, okay? We have uh, this chart where we can find those, um, those verbs that are followed by gerunds. Um, in the platform, I don't know if you if you already see this topic. There, you are going to find um, a list uh, of some of the, the the verbs that are followed by gerunds. Um, and I want to ask you: uh, Do you see those those verbs? Do you see those verbs? Yes, sure. Okay. Yes. It's yes. Okay. Okay, so tell me, what are those verbs? Uh, there are infinites. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, go to the to the platform. I'm going to share my 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 screen right now. Uh, just give me a second. Let me see uh, how to do this and this. Okay, here we have. Um, well, in the platform, we're going to find the course that is um, in this avanzado modulo uno. In the section number one we're going to see the topic friends and family. Um, in this part, hold me a second.
Yes. <laughs> well, uh, while this team church, um, I'm going to I'm going to tell you something. Um, in the case of of this structure, when we are um, creating um, sentences in English, we are going to find two type of um, uh, structures in this case, germs and infinitives, in which this can be uh, changed. Uh, in some cases, well, and that's the panel of the structure that you want to, to, to use, you're going to use uh, germs, or you can add to um, what is called infinitives. Um, well, this is, It's working so low. I'm going to change this. Well, guys, I can I can show you what I want because I don't know why this internet is not working. Well, yes, we're going to see this. Okay. Um, in the case of the verbs that sometimes express emotions. Um, we are going to use gerunds. And in this list, um, we are also um, adding the, the, these verbs. Um, for instance, when you say, it, um, well, I hate, or I like, or I love. In, this, in those cases, uh, th those verbs that we add uh, to this list that we have here, um, are followed by gerunds. Um, for instance, if I construct a, a structure, I can say like, uh, I hate working with Maria, okay? I hate working with Maria. In, in this case, we're using the word hate as a principal uh, action in, in working, um, in this case, it's, work, it's, well, it's working as a noun. Uh, why? Because the word working is telling us the, the object of the sentence, uh, what we hate, okay? What uh, we don't like. Um, the same case happens when we use, when we use the word, um, uh, don't like or like, okay, in some cases. Um, if you have the opportunity to go to the platform, there you are going to find, um, there you are going to find a list. Um, in this list that we have here right now, um, we have some, well, we have to memorize all, them, uh, all these words in order to identify which verb are followed by gerund. Um, and also, um, as part of it, um, we have some of the examples using the infinitive. Let's see the first one. Um, I avoid going to the dentist. Okay, the word, the, the, the main action here is avoid and uh, going that it's not working as a, a as a present continuous uh, in this case is working as a noun um, going to the dentist that means the object of the sentence uh, like in the case of um, I avoid uh, chocolate in this case we can add uh, um, a, a gerund to and you're going to help me with it with it okay I avoid chocolate. What verb can we transform to a gerund? Or what verb uh, we can add to this, to this example um, in order to create a gerund? Hate. Eat. Eat. To eat. To eat. 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 But in this case, we are going to use it as a, as a gerund. Remember that gerund 
the, the structure of germs is the base form of the verb plus the ing form. Okay, in this case, we can say, I avoid eating chocolate. Okay, uh, if you notice here, the, the, the main action is, is, uh, is in this case avoid, because that's what I'm doing. Uh, and the germ that we're going to be using is eating chocolate. Um, the next one, it says, I miss taking walks in the morning. Okay, there we are using the, the, the germs, but in the next one, it says, I miss England. Um, visiting. Well, visiting. Visiting. Okay, that's, that's a germ. Living. 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 Okay, that's a germ too. What else? I miss Probably. living in England. Sorry? Traveling. Traveling. Okay, traveling to, but you, you must add uh, the, the, um, the traveling two to England. for England. Okay? So the next okay. one, I have I, finished. Maybe I miss living in England. I miss living um, in England. Okay. That's good. Uh, let's see. The next one, I have finished working. If you notice in this case, in this type of sentence, we have the, um, the, the present perfect, okay? So in this case, we're using working as a gerund. Um, but, uh, well, if you want to add more information, uh, you, you can add after working, if you want to say something else, but in the case of the, the, the sentence, that the second sentence with the structure with uh, the, the present perfect, we don't have a germ. So in this case, how we can use this sentence using, uh, I have finished the cake. I have finished baking the cake. Baking, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a good. That's a good one. Um, well, so I had this finished the cake last night. I had finished. Sorry. The cake in the morning. In the morning, but in this case we haven't included a, a gerund because uh, we must add a gerund okay. between finish and the the article da. Okay. I have finished eating the cake. Eating the cake, okay. That that's a good one too. Uh, well, the, then we have the examples how we can how we can do it. Uh, there you're going to find uh, the, these sentences um, uh, without without the gerund, um, and, and you're going to find some exercises too uh, that haven't been include have been uh, included the the the, the gerund, and you must. Uh, complete in that way. Um, let me show you something. Um, well, in this case, it's not find a mistake. It's just the next information that I have to add to you. Uh, it says that many verbs in English are followed by the infinitive with two. Some of these verbs take the, the following pattern. Um, in this case, we're going to use the verb plus two plus the infinitive. Um, and here we have some examples that we can we can uh, take into account. Like uh, we plan to take a holiday, uh, or to decide to stay at home. If you notice, in this case, we have the verbs in past, um, but must be in, in present, or um, in this case, um, in order to add the, the infinitive. Um, so, why is code infinitive? Okay, do you know that? What is code infinitive? It's the basic form of the verb. Yes, it's the basic form of the verb. Yes. And um, in this case, when we have an infinitive, it's because it's not, um, it's not um, taking any form of the tenses. That's mean that the uh, a verb in infinitive 
It's not in past, it's not in future, it's not in present. Okay, as the words say, infinitive, um, the, the, the tense that we have here, the, the, the structure of, of this word is not telling us a specific time, okay? Um, let's see um, some um, patterns that we have to, um, well, in, in, in these patterns, we, we have some verbs that must be followed with infinitive, like advise, ask, encourage, invite, order, uh, persuade, remind, tell, and warn. Uh, all those verbs uh, are followed by infinitives. So um, think about a, a, in a sentence that include this, um, this verb plus an infinitive. Mr. Torres, you're you're you want to participate? I think you are muted. Sorry, I just uh, I was reading all the verbs. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, guys, uh, think in a sentence using any of the words. Any of the words. Okay. okay, I I advise you to listen carefully to your mother. Okay, amazing. Um, well, guys, uh, the time is over. Time is over. Um, I have to leave because I have another group to attend. But I want you to work in this uh, part of the of the uh, platform. Um, well, the topic is the 1.1 and 1.2. Uh, you are going to find you are going to find um, some exercise that you must uh, that you must complete. Uh, well, okay. Well, sorry guys, I was reading a, a, a chat off of uh, the other group that is saying that um, no. There. Um, well, guys, um, we're going to see. Um, let me see. Yes, tomorrow we're going to, to have a, a video conference. And I hope to see you, um, to all of you there. And I wish you a good night. So uh, have a nice night. And I see you tomorrow. Blessings for all of you. And uh, if Tomorrow we're going to follow, uh, we're going to continue with this topic, okay? So, bless you. Okay. Bye, thank okay. you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night to everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.